Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Some repairs will require you to disassemble your lawnmower. Before you attempt this, make sure the mower's engine has cooled. Remove the wire and boot from the spark plug and turn off the fuel valve. Now carefully set the mower on its side. Be aware that some gasoline or engine oil may spill out. Use a support to secure the blade or blades. Use a 14 mm socket to remove the bolts and washers and pull the blade or blades off. Using a socket, apply a sharp strong motion to loosen the bolt securing the lower rotostop assembly. Remove the bolt and pull the lower assembly off. Use a flathead screwdriver to assist in detaching the rotostop spring. Use pliers to release the clutch cable from the upper rotostop assembly. Now pull the upper assembly off. You will now need to remove the two debris shields by uninstalling the retaining screws. Be aware that in order to release the first debris shield, you will need to adjust the rear wheels to the lowest setting to access one of the screws. Once the first shield is removed, uninstall the screws to release the second debris shield and set both shields aside. Now use an adjustable wrench to help rotate the transmission to release the belt and pull the belt off of the crankshaft drive pulley. Use pliers to disconnect the tension spring on the transmission. You can now remove the belt. Reinstall the belt by threading it onto the drive pulley mounted on the transmission. Use a long flathead screwdriver to help reconnect the tension spring. Release the tension on the transmission and loop the belt onto the crankshaft drive pulley. Reinstall the second debris shield and secure the screws. Position the first debris shield and secure it with the screws. Readjust the rear wheels to their appropriate position. Reinstall the upper rotostop assembly and reconnect the clutch cable. Use the screwdriver to reattach the rotostop spring. Position the lower rotostop assembly and secure it with the bolt. Align the high lift blade with the mulching blade if applicable. Then position the blade or blades on the rotostop and secure the bolts and washers. Torque the bolts to manufacturer specifications. Remove the support and carefully set the mower upright. With the mower fully reassembled, you can now turn the fuel valve back on and reattach the spark plug wire and boot.